Hello and welcome back to another video and today we are looking at the new bike retrieval trailer that Marsman have released showing off the new bike retrieval feature in MotoGP 21. So of course if you saw the video I did about the announcement trailer you would know that this is a feature in the game where when you crash you can now go and pick up your bike. This is the first time actually seeing it in action as well because all the preview builds that people got sent didn't have this feature in it at all so this trailer is the first time you will see it. So I'll leave a link to the trailer in the description so you can watch it without me talking over it, but we'll get straight into it. There is a bit of MotoGP footage in it, so I'm hope hoping we should be okay with it, but MotoGP 21 bike retrieval. So you can see obviously Miller falling off there, Quattararo running to his bike there. Don't let her fall, keep you down. Bit more contact there. Oh, Mir getting absolutely wiped out. And now we're back to the game then. So we've got Petrucci going down towards the first corner. So get back on your bike as fast as possible to rejoin the race. See, he loses the front there in the gravel. And here we go. We can finally see him get up off the floor. And you can see it tells you the control. So you're going to use the analog stick to run around, which, you know, is fairly obvious. What button that will be on PC? I'm guessing it'll probably be W, A, S, and D probably to run around on uh, with a keyboard. Obviously, most people use a controller on PC anyway, but... If you do use a keyboard, I'm guessing it'll probably be W, A, S, and D. And the system seems fairly similar to Track Day R. You sort of just run up to the bike. You see there, just picking it up. It doesn't seem like you have to actually have to press anything to pick the bike up. You also don't need to bump start it as well by the looks of it. But here you are, back on the bike, coming back onto the track. Forget respawn. Every second counts. So then, it's a very, very short trailer. As you can see, we're only 47 seconds in. It's only 51 seconds. There's not actually a massive amount to pick out. I just thought I'd do a video just to kind of show that this is a thing because I am just trying to cover every little bit of MotoGP 21 news we get. But if we go back to the section where he's actually fell off the bike here, it's definitely going to penalise you more for crashing, which is really, really good for competitive play because it just rewards consistency a bit more realistically. So if we actually go to the point exactly where he's on the... Just getting back on the ground just after this. So you can see he gets up, seems to be all pre-rendered at this point. So you can't control until he's actually gone to his idle animation. You see, that's when you actually take control of the bike. Just run up to the bike, it seems. And it looks like as soon as you get close to the bike, it swaps back to the, the crash cam. You see your rider pick it up. He gets back on the bike. And then, of course, it did cut back to trailer. But I'm assuming that, unlike track they are, you're not going to have to bump start the bike. And you're not going to have to run with the bike either like you do in that game. So it does seem a little bit more automatic, but it could be an assist. It could just be something where you can actually change it. So you do have to pick up the bike and you do have to run with it. I doubt it. I'm assuming this will probably be a bit more automated since it is the first time they're doing it. And it does seem like a, a good way to do it because it's kind of, you don't want to make it too complicated. We have to try and bump start the bike because it can be difficult to do that sometimes. But it would be a nice feature maybe to see in MotoGP 22 or even if it is in MotoGP 21, that'd be great to see. But you've got to take little steps. You can't try and bite off more than you can chew really in one go this is the first time i'm putting it in the game so if the system's a little bit basic to start with then that's that's absolutely fine they can always improve on it for the next games but since we've actually had quite a few different trailers now there's not really anything else you can pick out obviously there's been a lot of preview gameplay as well because some people got preview versions of the game so they could uh, record some stuff so things like the the ui we've seen that already i mean it was in the other trailers anyway but we've now had a really really good look at that so there's not really anything else to pick out from this trailer except the bike retrieval itself unlike some of the other trailers where we've been able to pick out little bits that you can see again of course the gauge seems to be the same so that just seems to be the gauge this year it looks a little bit like the ducati not massively but a little bit you can also see that there is a, a level higher on the traction control anti-wheelie and engine braking system as well so they go all the way up to five but i think that might be because there's no level zero now but i'm not too sure because i've not really seen any in-depth information on setups or anything like that so i've not seen people particularly change those settings down there on any of the preview gameplay and of course the rest of it's just all been trailers that milestone themselves have released so that's pretty much all there is to say about this one this video will probably be fairly short but not much you can really get out of a, a little trailer like this, but I just wanted to make sure that I covered it so you guys saw it in case you didn't see the trailer. But like I said, there is a link in the description below to the trailer without me talking over it, just the original video. I'll also put links to my other breakdowns in the description as well because I've been breaking down every single trailer that Marlson have been releasing for most GP21. So if you do want to see most GP21 game news and of course it's less than a month now to the game actually releases. So when the game comes out, I'll be making loads of videos on it. So if you want to see some MotoGP 21 content, do feel free to like and subscribe. But I hope you did enjoy that one. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you're all staying safe and I shall see you in the next one.